I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Hello, collectors, blah, 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 this kind of action figure dude, blah, 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 Christopher. Welcome to Bootleg Alley. Bootleg Alley, as I have mentioned before, is a lot like the island of misfit toys. That is, if the characters on the island of the misfit toys had a really, really bad upbringing. But before we get started uh, talking about our figure of the day, I want to introduce to you uh, a, a, a new friend. Uh, these two guys are not bootlegs. As a matter of fact, they're, they're quite legitimate. Uh, of course, Black Vulcan, who has always been hanging around for a while. And now, his partner in crime, Samurai. Who also isn't wearing any pants. Now, why isn't Samurai wearing any pants? I do not know, but I do know that in the 70s when Super Friends came on and uh, they wanted to add some diversity and you know I know there are some people out there who really get shook up by that word, but they wanted to add some diversity. So they introduced three characters, Black Vulcan because they didn't want to pay for Black Lightning, uh, the Indian Chief who by the way is also isn't wearing pants but at least he's wearing a traditional Native American uh, Tunic and Samurai who I mean if you're a Samurai and you're dressed like this Chances are I'm thinking your Samurai friends aren't gonna want much to do with you because they would probably ask Hey, hey guy Where's your goddamn pants? because Samurai Samurai Samurai, but <laughs> uh, nonetheless, Black Vulcan and Samurai will just be handing on today, just observing the festivities with no pants on. Also, I just want to remind you uh, of our giveaway. I had them somewhere around here. Ah, here they go. We'd like to uh, congratulate uh, Nettie Sue. A uh, picture, hopefully, will be showing up in a minute of Nettie Sue and her, of her take uh, for the last giveaway. Congratulations. And, of course, as we have mentioned, our new giveaway, once we hit 500 subs, we're just going to randomly pick somebody, is some Halo stuff. A Walgreens exclusive and two of these things. So, again, as I said, the discount action figure dude will never... And I mean never ask you to like, subscribe, hit the smash, the like button, share, whatever. Because as my main man toy department said, y'all grown. Grown folks, y'all do what you want to do. However, for me to give this away, I kind of have to know who you are so I can have my uh, Excel spreadsheet randomizer pick out a name. And as I mentioned before, a lot of you do subscribe the ones that do as anonymous so I don't know who you are either but if you leave a comment I am going to assume <laughs> that you also subscribe meaning that you can leave a comment and not subscribe I don't know why you want to do that but you can leave a comment and not subscribe I am not Columbo I'm not Kojak I know I'm dating myself here, but I am not going to be the one, you know, trying to figure out whether or not you're a subscriber or not. I'm going to assume, you know, so, and, and after 500, we're going to pick somebody to, uh, to, uh, get some Halo stuff. But we're in bootleg alley, which means we must be looking at a bootleg. Uh, oh, also... My Spider-Man, as you can see, some of my figures, these are all residents of Bootleg Alley, except for, of course, the pantsless DC Super Friends. And this guy, a few episodes ago, I think this is episode 13 of Bootleg Alley, uh, but this guy, a few episodes ago, he too is a bootleg, but he has walked through the door. He is on a Spider-Man shelf, because that's how good a figure that he is but however he's just here to give some support to uh his uh, fellow bootleg spider-man retro card uh figure 
Symbiote Spider-Man. Again, we got this guy at AliExpress. I believe he cost around $13. I am not quite sure. As it turns out, I have all of these. <laughs> Uh, legitimately, because I don't think they make bootlegs for the rest of these. But, uh, don't have this guy. Because I think, not that, I think he's, I don't know what he's going for. You know what? What is, help me out here, Samurai. I'm curious what the retro card Spider-Man, retro card symbiote Spider-Man is actually going for. Looks like he's going for about 40 or 50 bucks, so the $13 paid for at uh, AliExpress is cheaper. But, I know the uh, Spider-Man back there was a really good figure. Or is this some kind of uh, factory line reject that has some serious issues and thus made it to the bootleg uh, store somewhere in China? We're going to take a look-see. Uh, the box looks pretty solid. As we can see, uh, I can see a big gap in there in the middle of them. But then you know what? I don't know. I was going to compare them to my my old uh, symbiote Spider-Man, but I don't know what the hell I did with them. I actually used them right here not too long ago. So maybe somebody broke in my house and stole them. You know, people do that to me. You know, break into my house and steal stuff and put stuff back all the time. I wish they'd stop doing that. Let's cut this bitch open. Alrighty then, here goes our symbiote Spider-Man out of the package. Looking pretty good, actually. It looks like he has the exact same body as that guy, only with different paint. But uh, let's say we take a closer look at bootleg symbiote Spider-Man. Here he goes, of course, as we mentioned, he has a pair of thwips, a pair of wall crawling hands, and from here he looks pretty good. Let's say we take a closer look at this guy. He looks uh pretty darn good. Well, you know, one of the things I like to you know, this wouldn't this isn't gonna work with the white gloves because A, I like to get a good rub to see if the paint comes off, but A, the only paint on him, because he's just a basic black body would be the white paint which of course wouldn't show up on my gloves and uh, but from what I can tell everything looks pretty good let's check his body out it's a pretty basic uh, spider-man body it looks like if I was to guess I would think that his that I'm not going to take him apart right now. I probably will later. But it looks to me that his that the a ball peg in between his upper torso and lower torso may be a bit too long because I think that is causing a little bit of separation here. But uh from the middle to the top which can probably be whittled down a little bit, I'm guessing, if you want to. But if you're crunching forward a little bit, I don't know. It's, 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 yeah, I think it's pretty pronounced. But it's not a deal breaker. <laughs> it's not a deal breaker. Uh, yeah, he, 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 man, he looks good. He does look good. Body does look good on him. Let's, uh, let's give him the once over with some articulation. Now, mind you, we don't treat these things very kindly. We want to see what they can do. And we like to bend them up a little bit just to see what they can and cannot do. You know, I do, you know, even for a bootleg, it might be always good to maybe, you know, heat them up a little bit just so you won't break anything. 
but uh, so far, his, his joints are solid, not too stiff, not too loose. His knees are moving freely. I can hear the clicks in them. If we push these, these hips seem to be a little bit on the low side. I don't think that's supposed to be. Now, one of the reasons that we say that this, something like this, is probably a factory defect simply because of the packaging. Now, most of the bootlegs, some, they, they come in separate boxes. A package like this is far too, in my opinion, you know, the bootleggers can uh, chime in here. You know, the actual bootleggers can chime in. But, you know, like a blister pack like this, that's too much work. You know, just put it in a box and uh, move on. So, you know, I'm, my thought is that, you know, a figure like this symbiote Spider-Man got completed, got put on the box, and got ready to ship out until, you know, Hasbro proper was like, yo, we, can, we can't sell people this. It's got too many flaws. I mean, <laughs> one would say, we could say, that's never stopped them before. But, uh, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be that person to say that. Kung Fu pose? You know, I, I think, um, I think we got an, another solid winner. Even though that one has flaws, this one generally does not. But this one, the flaws that it does have, which I do believe are in the hips and in the midsection, I think those can be worked with. Let's see if we can replace his hands without breaking anything. Well, I don't know if I broke anything. <laughs> but I did. I did uh, pop off his leg while trying to replace his hands. Let's see if it pops right back on. All right, it did. No problems. No problems. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive trying to pop off his uh his hands. Let's see if this slides in pretty good. Snap. And let's do a a rock web crawling. And yeah. There you go. And here goes Spider-Man striking a, a a thripping pose. And looking good, do it. Symbiote style. Alright, now. Nice. Okay, yeah, this isn't, this is not terrible at all. So, uh, this figure does have some issues. Uh, like we said, the hips seem to be a little wonky, and the abdomen seems to have a ball peg in, within it that's a little too long. But for the most part, other than those problems, this is a pretty decent Spider-Man. This is a pretty decent symbiote Spider-Man. I sure wish I had my other one, even though it's much older than this one, just to compare it to. I don't know. But I tell you, man, people stop breaking in my house and stealing stuff and then miraculously putting it back so I can find it to try to trick me into thinking that you didn't uh, break into my house. Stop doing that. But as you well know, we don't assign a value to our... Uh, our bootleg figures because it's a bootleg it has no value it's an actual bootleg but but if you were looking for a relatively cheap symbiote spider-man that uh costs less than uh fifty dollars resale aftermarket uh this guy may uh, fix your symbiote uh needs not a bad bootleg at all